Fast shutter speed makes your videos look harsh, so I'm going to show you how to slow your iPhone shutter speed and without using an app. If your camera's shutter speed is high, there will be very little motion blur in the frame. What's motion blur? Well, you've probably seen this in photos. You know when you're taking photos of your friends at night and someone moves and they're all blurry in the photo. Well, that's motion blur. However, in video, motion blur is a good thing. It's smoother and more filmic. Problem is, iPhones don't allow you to control shutter speed. Well, one option is to use a third-party app, like Filmic Pro. But actually, you can slow your shutter speed another way, and here's how. Use one of these, an ND filter. This one is by Sandmark and clips over the lens of your iPhone. An ND, or neutral density filter, reduces the light hitting the iPhone's camera sensor. And now, my iPhone needs to slow the shutter speed for correct exposure. Let's look at the difference with and without an ND filter, and see if there's more motion blur. So if you want to get more motion blur, but you want to use the native iPhone camera app, just use an ND filter. Here's some other setups I use for mounting an ND filter to my iPhone. This is a case, a lens, and a filter mount by moment. Then I add a variable ND by KNF. This is a case and variable ND filter by Polar Pro, called the Light Chaser Pro. And you know what they say, control your shutter speed, control your life. Oh, uh, I just made that up. Sorry.